Today's tutorial will show you how to create your own Picmonic in under 10 minutes. The best part is, you don't need to be creative, artistic, or a tech wizard to do it. Just use the Picmonic Creator. Log in to Picmonic.com or register for free. Then click the Create button in your left nav bar. Before we dive into creating a Picmonic, let's quickly review the basics of what a Picmonic is and how it works. A Picmonic is a picture mnemonic. We remember images better than words, and using humor, illustration, animation, and narration with mnemonic character associations, we can really level up our memory retention. These visual mnemonic memory anchors will help cue your recall so you never forget. Now, let's move on and break down the creation process. Picture mnemonics, or picmonics, can be used to teach almost anything, from words and processes to definitions, diagrams, anatomy, and so much more. First, a learning objective is selected. What are you or your students struggling to learn and retain? The learning objective is then simplified down to its most important key facts or components, essentially the Cliff Notes version. From here, mnemonic characters are associated with each key fact. Let's create a simple picmonic for remembering how to say I love you in different languages. For example, if we want to remember how to say I love you in Italian, which is ti amo, think of ti amo. We'll start by adding our topic. Now, we're going to come up with a character that represents that topic. We type in the name of the character and then find an image to go along with it. There's a vast library of characters for you to choose from, and you can even build new characters using multiple images, upload an image, or choose a GIF. Adding a background lets you really set the scene for your story and bring it to life. Categorize your Picmonic so others will be able to find and benefit from your creation. Now, let's add in the key facts. Type in the first key fact and click Enter. For our example, we'll use Tiamo. By adding a definition or summary to your facts, you'll have all the information you need to remember readily available. In the Creative section, you'll see a box to type in the character name. Choose a character to represent the fact you're trying to learn, either literally, semantically, or phonetically. Here, we'll use phonetics with a teapot for T and ammo for amo. The controls on the character image allow you to easily resize, flip, and crop images. You can add a custom animation to a character by clicking it in the left panel, choosing an animation, the speed of the animation, and testing it with the blue play button. If you want to add text directly to the image, just add text to image, type in the text, select font size, color and style, and click add. Then you can move it to wherever you'd like to see it on the image. When you are satisfied with your academic information and the visual mnemonic representation of the key fact, click Continue. Creating quiz questions will make sure that you and others can solidify each key fact in your memory even further with Picmonic's Spaced Repetition Quizzing System. Creating quiz questions will make sure that you and others can solidify each key fact in your memory even further with Picmonic's Spaced Repetition Quizzing System. These are multiple choice questions so type in a question in which the key fact is the correct answer. Then add distractors or wrong answer choices. You can add as many facts as you like and headers to organize those facts under. When in the main fact panel, you can indent or delete by hovering on a fact. Next, we'll tie it all together with an audio track. Adding audio to a Picmonic is critical if you want others to really be able to learn and remember it. Just click on the Audio tab and select from the three options, Write, Record, or Upload. First, Write enables you to type an audio transcript for each key fact that will be auto-narrated for you. You can even choose a voice by clicking on the Name field. Just to note, you can use a template by clicking Add Template or See Definition to view more information about the fact you entered. Another option is Record, where you can record yourself narrating the Picmonic. Just click on a fact, click the Record button, say what you need to, then click Pause. You can review it, re-record it if you don't like it, or click Continue to move on to the next fact. For the last audio option, you can upload an audio track if you're using fancy tools outside of Picmonic. Click the info button in the top right of this panel for a full best practices guide for making awesome Picmonic audio tracks. After you've added audio, click save in the top right corner, which will prompt a pop-up for you to review your Picmonic status and settings. 
From here, you can choose to release your creation into the world or make it private if you'd like. While love is a universal thing all over the world, there are many ways to express it in different languages. Today, we'll learn how to say, I love you in Italian. The way to say, I love you in Italian is, Ti amo. We hope you'll join our large community of creators who are helping so many others by sharing their knowledge every day in the most memorable way.